Do you have eternity in view? Then listen to the truth of God's word. For any inquiries, please contact 0807. Good day my evangelist, how are you and your family? Good day my daddy, I'm fine, my family are good. That's good, where are you going now? Daddy, I'm going for evangelism since you told me that God sent us to go and preach to the whole world. Alright, you can go now, don't let me delay you. I will highlight when we get to the next bus stop. When I finish, I will come and see you sir. Alright, I will be expecting you. Good day my sister, how are you? Good day sir, I'm fine. Please, I don't know you, how can I help you? Yes my sister, you don't know me and I don't know you too. Please, will you give me little time to discuss with you? Sir, about what? About Christ Jesus. What's about him? I do follow my friends to their churches, I don't think I still need Christ again. My sister, going to church alone cannot make you a Christian, can I ask you a question? Why sir, you said going to church can't make me Christian, but I'm one of our church workers. Have you given your life to Jesus? Since I'm going to church, I believe I have given my life. No, my sister, you must have a time when you gave your life to Jesus and you forsake the sinful life. That is when you gave your life to Jesus, Paul, one of the apostles of Jesus also had been going to church, even, he was one of the elders in the church yet he has not known Jesus, but one day on his way to Damascus, he encountered Jesus and he gave his life. What do you want from me? Go into Damascus. You'll be told what to do. My sister, do you also have a time that you gave your life to Jesus? No sir. Then you need Jesus in your life. The word of God says in the book of Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13 that he that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. You must confess your sins to God now if you are ready to receive Jesus Christ today. I'm ready sir. You can confess your sins now. Alright sir. God please. Have mercy on me, I'm a liar, fornicator, cheater, thief, please, God cleanse me with your son's blood, have mercy on me. Alright, you can ask Jesus to come to your life now and come and be your Lord and Savior from now on. The word of God says in the book of Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 10 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, verse 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Do this now. Lord Jesus, I need you in my life to come and be my Lord in everything and also be my Savior. I accept you as my Lord and Savior today. Now you are saved. You are a new person now. You have been born into God's family now, which means that, you are now a born again person. Let us pray now. God, our Father, we thank you today, for the grace you made available for us, we thank you for your grace that saved us from our sinful life, thank you also, for the life of your daughter you also saved now, blessed Redeemer, you that saved her, you are able to keep her in you till she shall behold you at her end, God do this for her in Jesus' name, and preserve her life in us to reign with you in eternity in Jesus' name. Thank you God, for in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen, amen and amen in Jesus' name. Congratulations my sister. Thank you sir, I'm very grateful. The Lord will continue to be with you. Amen. Thank you sir. Make sure you read your Bible every day and never fail to attend church meeting, where you will hear the word of God by which you will grow well in God. I will invite you to come and attend our fellowship very soon. God be with you. Alright sir. Thank you. You are welcome, my evangelist. How was evangelism? Daddy, evangelism was fine, daddy I'm very happy today. That's good, what is that, that make you happy? Sir, God led me to discuss with a sister, both of us were on a street and we started our discussion, I began it, but, at the end of it all she gave her life to Christ. That is serious, our God is great, he's awesome and he's our redeemer. To him alone be all glory. Daddy, please, I have a question. Alright, what is your question? Sir, why is it that we have many people in the church today, that have not given their lives to Jesus Christ? Actually, you have asked a serious question. 
The question you've asked will be a help to as many people who still believe that they know Christ Jesus because they are attended churches and they're in the midst of believers and yet they have not see Christ neither knowing him. Let me say this, I want to speak to many church leaders that have one thing or the other, they are still lacking, please, hear me in this. Christianity is not a religious practice, Christianity is a life-giving relationship, many call themselves servants of God, while they themselves know that they share no relationship with God, they named themselves such a name in other to rob people out of their pockets and life they're meeting different not from wild party may god in his infinite mercy forgive you and you yourself should end what you are doing now before god's wrath comes upon you ha huh. may god have mercy on them god will have mercy upon them when they repent i beseech you by god's mercies stop all of these atrocities pervading the church denomination like using god's name to collect money from people while god didn't say such stop acidic prayers of killing enemy while the word of God says in Revelation chapter 13 verse 10 that he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Please change now before it is too late for you. Thank you daddy. We thank God, may God be with you. Amen. I will be going now sir. Alright, my greetings to your family. May God be with you. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. All right. All Hebrew, all do you jewel one at gmail.com or it's Jesus3 at gmail.com. Sanctify them through thy word. The word is truth. My ears have heard. Lord, we shall. Do you have eternity in view? Then listen to the truth of God's word. For any inquiries, please contact 0807-513-9687 or 0703-316-4076 or Hebrew Ola do you jewel one at gmail.com or it's jesus3 at gmail.com. Sanctify them through thy word.